Welcome to Power of X-Men, a very special episode because we are celebrating the Hellfire Gala! And we have two very special guests today. The first has been on the podcast before. She is co-host of The X-Wife. Please welcome back Alicia! Hello, thank you for having me. I'm so happy to be here. And I think this is going to be the first time you're officially on the podcast because you've been on it before, but the episode hasn't aired yet. Yes, that's correct. We have Michelle Waffle. Hi. Hi. And so listeners, if you're not watching this on YouTube, we are all cosplaying as characters from Dawn of X. I am Christian Frost. And I'm Michelle, and Emma Frost. And I, Alicia, am Kate Pride. Yes! You guys look so good. Thank you. Thank you so much. You guys... Thank you, darling. Thank you, darling. Darling. Wait, I have to ask, because you guys have been hinting at a collaboration for, like, a long time. And you know me. I'm like, these two collaborating, I need to know the details. So what inspired this collaboration? In, an Instagram message? <laughs> yeah, yeah I mean, that was really it. I think Alicia and I were talking about like foam bracers. Like that was mm-hmm. our conversation because she was making some. And I think you maybe were working on a regular Kate Pride. Costume. Yeah. And then I was like, I want to do Emma Frost, like the sexy one. And then I'm pretty sure I said, be my red queen. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I posted in my story, Kate's hellfire look. And I was like, I think I might have to make this. And then Michelle was like, oh my God. Yes. I want to make Emma be my red queen. And I was like, well, uh, mm, okay. Yep. yep. Done and done. No better words have ever been said to me. <laughs> I'm in. I am shipping your friendship so hard right now. I love it. So wait, Alicia, did you actually get like the bullet and everything? Oh like, yeah. You got the oh, yeah. Me a little closer to the camera. Oh, if yeah, possible. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Look at that skirt and everything. Oh yeah, baby. Beautiful. Like, look at that. Flow. Check these bad boys out. Oh, <laughs> don't flash the camera. Don't. <laughs> oh my God. So wait, how long did it take? Let me start with you first, Alicia. How long did it take you to put together this beautiful Cape Pride look? Because these gala looks just dropped like a month, month and a half ago. Basically the entire time. Um, <laughs> I, You're like, girl, I'm still sewing. <laughs> yeah. I, I was like, okay, I'm going to make this. And I worked on it for like full weekends at a time for the last like month and a half. So I thought, okay, I'll buy a pattern for this jacket and I'll make it. And it won't be that hard because I have some basic sewing skills. Um, It was hard. uh, I won't lie about that. Um, It was a lot of guessing and checking and, and cutting things and recutting things, but it took probably let's see, like at least five weekends, like maybe 10 hours a weekend in total, just cutting and sewing and making things out of like leather ribbon that I found at a craft store. And then this, the dress, the half dress part was quite interesting because I spent like like literally four hours pinning and draping and sewing. And I was like, this looks great. And then I put it on the mannequin. I was like, this looks like crap. (laughs) <laughs> and I took everything out and just literally like draped, like put it on the mannequin and put the crosses of the jacket over it. And it looked perfect. And I was like, okay, how do I make that happen in real life? Um, so this is the first cosplay costume that I've made completely. Well, I can't say completely because I didn't make the gloves. I attempted the gloves um, four times, <laughs> but I made the X's on the gloves, but the gloves themselves needed to be ordered. Um, There was a day that I was in here and I was sewing and it was like my fourth attempt at gloves. And I was just like getting so frustrated. And Justin was just like, okay, what color do they need to be? And I was like, like burgundy. And he's like, 
okay, I'm ordering them on Amazon. Like, I can't watch you struggle anymore. <laughs> like, oh, thank God. you. Thank you, Justin. Oh. I love that. Okay, Michelle, but what about this? Like, tell us about this look. And you even got the gloves as well. You got the half I gloves. I got half, half gloves, but I had to alter mine because they were like, they were so big. I have these little hands. Oh my God. I So <laughs> listeners, if you're not watching this on YouTube, I am IRL with Michelle and her hands are very small. Look at that. <laughs> small hands like my god look at oh my god wow wow i thought they would be tighter because they were half gloves but they were they're still kind of loose i i think i could i could alter them a little (laughs) my my fingers were short so i had all this extra like coming out of the pinkies well maybe the gloves i made will fit you because they were like little nubs on my hands (laughs) i I will probably fit little nubby gloves (laughs) nubby gloves but tell us about the look and how you got this one. So I didn't want to do body paint. Um, oh. I just body paint's messy. Yeah, it was messy. And like, you know, you just I don't feel like I'm ready for that step yet. Mm. Like that that's maybe later. I need to work out a little more. Um Curl, you look amazing. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, please talking about you're hot every day on your Instagram story. I'm like, oh yep, there's Michelle looking fly again. Oh. Uh, gay boy here, you're both hot. <laughs> and A, you need to work out more. I literally come into Michelle's house and I'm like, where's your beer? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, literally, can I have some beer? Like, no, you guys are like peak, beautiful, strong, amazing. But oh, thank you. Thank you. Um, so I went shopping with my mom. I said, mom, can you make me a mesh, like sparkly bodysuit? Because I know Alicia had sent me some on Amazon, but like the reviews were kind of like not good or like they only had sparkles on the front and not the back. And I'm like, I want to sparkle all over. Girl. So I found I found some material. It's got like it's got these really nice little rhinestones on it and it's nude color. So I'm naked, but not naked. It's weird. Key. (laughs) And then so my mom sewed the bodysuit for me. And then I bought these silver curtains on Amazon. You made these out of curtains? Yeah, so they were like these these party curtains. Oh my God. You could get two sets for like $8. And I or actually, I actually ordered two different kinds because I wasn't sure with Amazon, you never know. One of them was like crinkly, like papery stuff. I'm all, that's not gonna work. But this is like really like nice, like ribbon with the crinkly stuff in the middle. So it still shimmers. Oh, wow. So it looks good. This look, I mean, this looks very Versace. I wouldn't have thought this was a curtain in a previous I walk, life. It looks so pretty. Like It's I, gorgeous. I feel like this is a costume that's made to be moving, like sitting, mm-hmm. not doing it any justice. Well, I was curious about like how Emma was moving in that because we've really only seen it in the Russell Dodderman photo of her on the green carpet. But I'm like, Emma, like, I guess she's diamond. So her entire body looks a little bit more, you know, I don't want to say androgynous, but more like a figure as Mm -hmm. opposed to like seeing any specific parts. But I'm like, Emma, like she brought it. Yes, she did. She's like, if you see something under the dress, then fine. (laughs) Enjoy yourself. It's a party. Exactly. Uh, and I also love that Emma is not wearing any jewelry because she is the jewelry. That's right. Yeah, that's exactly it. Mm. Wait, so Alicia, I want to ask you because you're relatively new to fandom. I know you have been exposed to it through Justin, but you came screaming out of the closet like with your <laughs> fandom. Like you've done a dancing Wanda, you've done Emma, and now yep. you're Hellfire Kala Kate Pride. So is cosplaying something we're going to be seeing you do at conventions? Have you cosplayed before? I know you're a dancer, so you're used to Yes. Cosplaying, but have you cosplayed before? And are we going to be seeing cosplaying of you? At- yes, yes, yes. Yeah. All of the above. Um, I previous, previously had a or have a uh, Peggy Carter that has evolution. So she, we have like Peggy Carter in like just a regular leather jacket and her pencil skirt and her tie. And then we have Peggy Carter with, um, I actually found this really amazing green army jacket in a thrift store. That's like legit. It's so legit. Like I pick it up and I like feel the energy of whoever once wore this jacket. Um, so I have that. And then I 
didn't make on my own, but purchased off Etsy, um, a Captain America, like full suit, like the whole top. And then I bought some other cargo pants. And so I have like my boots. So I have a Captain Carter. So I have Peggy, like business Peggy, field Peggy, Captain Carter Peggy. Um, And then I've also done post-apocalyptic summer, which ironically, Michelle has also done, which we, you know, found out and was like, okay, such a random character. She's in one episode of Rick and Morty. And yet we both decided to cosplay her. Um, I remember you told me that story. Yeah. And I'm still working on um, Polaris for some day. (gasps) And I have, I have a Kate as well, like Captain Kate. Yes. So how was it doing the Hellfire Gala, Kate? Because she's not really known for her fashion sense, but you make her look so good. Thank you. Um, It was interesting because we were, like Michelle and I have known basically since the moment these costumes were announced, like these looks were announced, we've known we were going to do this. And then we would do things like come to book club or I would see like people's polls and everyone would always be ragging on Kate. Like, what's your least favorite look, Kate? And I was always like secretly texting Michelle like, oh my God, this is not going to go well. But I personally like, I love a good jacket like a strong jacket. And so the jacket was my favorite part. And then Justin told me um, that the artist said that the costume is supposed to represent her phasing. So it's like between the two looks. So I was like that I'm super into. Um, I don't know. I just, as soon as I saw it, I was drawn to this idea that like she is presenting herself as still like a strong badass, but she's also like getting fancy at the same time with her little crushed velvet dress. So And the boots. Oh my God. Like, boots are to die for. Honestly, favorite. boots are probably my favorite part of cosplay. <laughs> <laughs> you can't go wrong with a good thigh high boot. You can, that is literally the name of your memoir. <laughs> like right there. <laughs> Noted. Noted. Okay. So, Michelle, you have done so many cosplays. You've done Dazzler, you've done Archangel, you've done Jean Grey. Yes. Which I love. Our Lady Jean. Our Lady Jean, pray to White Phoenix right now. But what was it like doing something like this? Like, I mean, Emma is high fashion. She is. Like, this is next level. I know. It's, it was scary. I didn't think, I didn't think I could pull it off, to be honest. Like, I wasn't, I didn't find this mesh material, like, right away. I was, like, hunting. I wasn't loving anything. And I'm all, I really don't want to be naked. <laughs> like, I just, I don't want to have to use body paint for this. Um but it was just so sexy. And I'm like, Oh, I just, I want to do it. Like, I just want to do a sexy cosplay and why not Emma? Like, why not? Why not? Why not not Emma? And what's it like embodying like a character like Emma versus a character like our God Queen Jean Grey? I feel (laughs) like the vibe is different. Like Jean is very like wholesome, like girl next door, like cute. Even, even the makeup look, like for her is very simple. Yeah. Maybe like lots of like browns, um, natural colors. And then for Emma, like she has a blue lip. I didn't do it today because we're going somewhere after this. We're going to party. Yeah. But at a comic book store. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, where else do you <laughs> party? I'm like, hey, what's up here? <laughs> we'll be FaceTiming you, Alicia. <laughs> Amazing. I'm like, I don't know where I'm at. <laughs> But it just, it was like a more of a glam look, like to reflect like her outfit choice. And um, it was, it was a different, it's just a different feel. Like, I feel like when you, you dress up as a character, like you kind of act like them a little bit. Like Mm -hmm. Emma is very like boss bitch. So I was trying not to smile in all of my photos, like, but just a little bit, like a little smile, but not like, not like a smile, but not a smile like smirk i got you mm-hmm. yeah so you guys did individual photo shoots yep and then you sent them off to get edited and you presumably then you guys are going to be in the same shot yes. and yeah. and where are we going to be able to see these shots once they are revealed <laughs> on the internet instagram <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um i'm yeah 
Michelle and I are very like, we have a plan, but we're also very go with the flow. You know, this is our first collab. We're taking it one step at a time. So we'll definitely reveal them probably on both of our Instagrams, I would assume, and the tweeters um, because we have to enter the contest and we must win. So that was going to be my, that's what I was kind of fishing around for. You guys are (laughs) at that that contest. Yeah. I don't know the particulars of the contest. So like, that's as far as I go with this question. I'm like, so you're entering that contest that they're doing for the Hellfire Gala. The winner gets to be on the cover. I don't know. I don't know. I I don't know what the rules are. I asked in like the comments. I said, hey, is this an OG character you want or... Is it like a gala look? Like no one ever responded. So I'm not, I'm not sure. So it's, it's a Marvel contest. It is a Marvel contest. Yeah. Basically all I know is you're supposed to post it with the hashtags. And I think it's like starting June 2nd. So that's in a couple of days. So we'll post it probably more than once. Um, so you know, amplify that listeners. Listen, amplify please do. the shit of this. Um. Yeah the ex-wife and Michelle Waffle Otero. That's where you're gonna find them. Make sure you regram and hashtag these incredible humans. I wanna ask, what's it like collaborating with another cosplayer? It's awesome. (laughs) It it really is. Um, I mean, I wish we could do it in real life because you kind of vibe off each other, especially Mm -hmm. when you're Um, That's always, that's always like the best part is the poses together. But since we're doing it, what is it like? Not virtually, but we're distance. Long distance. Yeah, long distance. It's a long distance cosplay collab. romance. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. And shout out I to mean, the editor too, like uh, Black Captain Kirk, who's going to put us yes. together. Yes. yes. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, I don't have, I have, I have one friend in this area who cosplays and she doesn't do a lot. Like she has like two looks and she does, does them. If I'm like, Hey, you want to cosplay together? Actually, she asked me to do a game of Thrones cosplay, which I was like, yeah, dope. Let's do that. Um, But just like meeting Michelle in book club and having someone, even when we're not collaborating, like having someone to send like, Hey, like, hey, what do you think about the, these boots? Or what do you think about this? And like getting feedback back and forth from someone else who understands what's going on. And then like when we're feeling insecure about something, having a friend to be able to say like, hey, this is what this looks like right now. And them hype you up. Like I was pro- – I probably – messaged Michelle a million times during the whole process like okay I just really want to show someone what my jacket looks like right now and like this is what it looks like and she would always you know have words of encouragement or like cheer me on and every time I was like everyone's gonna hate it that I'm Kate she was always like no girl Mm -mm." Kate is loved yeah we love we love Kate yes like we'll tell um our friends at book club that we love Kate (laughs) I mean listen (laughs) I feel like the book club like really likes like storm and jean the most yes i mean and how could you not jean yeah you can't you can't but i mean yeah storm is a goddess and an icon (laughs) but (laughs) jean right no i loved jean's look i and it was funny because record i don't like jean's look i don't really You, you don't i liked it because i was like she could just like pop off the back of that and then that could be her new costume yeah and that's you know I think it's a great like battle ready costume. Yeah. I don't think it's like gala fashionable. Yeah. Well, my yeah. thing with Jean is like she's never met, she's never seen a green or gold pattern that she didn't want to wear. A <laughs> and B, like Jean is like DKNY outlet. I love her. I love her. She's gorgeous. Naturally, she'll look beautiful in anything, but she's not like Emma. And I feel like Kate will take like risks with her fashion. Or like let but. someone else like dress her. Or like Storm. Like Storm is always red carpet ready. Yes. I mean, like, the, and especially what they've done with her. Mm-hmm. But like Jean's outfit, I was a little disappointed in. I wanted like a little bit more. Like I wish they would just get her out of green and gold. Yeah. Mm. She looks divine and white. In fact, she is divine and white because she's Maybe white phoenix. White and gold. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like Christian Frost. White and gold. Yeah. Yes, like this. So literally, I just showed up to Michelle's place. I was like, I have a button down. And she's and you're like, girl, I got you. Here, here, here. <laughs> I know. 
a white leather jacket and a golden sash. That's, How my, do you... that's from my dark phoenix. Stop it. I was going to ask, you yeah. see, because Jean always saves the day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> got to gotta have a golden sash just lying around. So how excited are both of you for the Hellfire Gala? I mean, I can't wait. I hope I get an invite. Like, I know. That yeah. Would be, that'd be great. I'm ready to attend. I'm ready to attend as well. Yeah. Like, what do we think is going to, so we know Polaris is going to be unveiled as like, which I was like, I was thinking about this on like my Uber ride over here. I was like, hmm, I really wish they would like have kept that suspense of who won. Mm. Because there was no, no reason. Well, I think they had to announce like that they were shutting down X uh, Factor. Factor. And if they did, they'd be like, well, why? Like that's the most, one of the most popular books right now. And I think by revealing that Polaris is going to be the X, the next X-Men member, readers can like come to terms with that a little bit better. Like, okay, she's leaving. They have to disband or like regroup into something else. Yeah. I just, that makes I, sense. I'm disappointed though, because like X Factor was supposed to be like the book about resurrection and like answer all your questions about resurrection. And like, girl, I still have some. And like <laughs> Leah Williams is a phenomenal writer. X Factor hasn't been my favorite title to be very honest, but like, I want it. I want, I still wanted to see it continue. Mm-hmm. I mean, I haven't gotten to it yet. Oh, I'm so I, sorry. No, no, no spoilers for Alicia. Don't, it's fine. I am I have a task, which is to try to read everything that I haven't read in the next three days. Um, I'm, I'm, it's going to be great. And if I don't read it, then I'll make Justin tell me what's happening because I feel like I'm really excited for the Hellfire Gala because that it's something that it's the first time something like this is happening. Like, that I am like, I can be a part of this. I can know what's going on and I can read the books and I can be active in conversations about what's happening instead of just looking at Justin and going, what's happening? <laughs> <laughs> it's like your first multi like arc. Event, yeah. Or like, what do they call it when it's, it's like an event that crosses over multiple issues. I guess it's a crossover. Yeah. A crossover. <laughs> crossover. Yeah. But- but it's a yeah it's an event like it's a big thing and i'm excited for yeah they've never thrown like a kiki like this Mm -hmm. and like i'm just so excited for it and like i i think the marketing has been like next level and all like the the costumes they've revealed i'm trying to think of who is my least favorite look and like i think it's polaris (sighs) And it's because of you, Alicia, because you pointed out she looks like a jellyfish. She does look like a jellyfish. Oh, come on, Popo. Like, you're nominated. It's sad. It's just, I just feel badly for her nice. because I just feel like maybe the intention was, like, supposed to be a little more like that was her, like, aura of magnetism. But I just don't. Sure. Sure. I don't like the mint color. I just think it's ugly. Like, the, like if it was a, the aura of magnetism, I love that. Like, give me that. But she just looks like she's wearing like this really cheap, like dress barn, like ah, oh, construction. I don't know. It's just, it's just very one note for me. Oh. It needs a little more. But my least favorite is Magneto. I'm sorry. I know people think he looks dapper, but I don't. I think he looks like a sad magician, and I hate it. <laughs> I really hate it. Bad magician. On the flip side, I really like Xavier's, like with the gold Cerebro helmet and like the gold and white costume. I'm like, it's Versace, but for like mutants. I feel like- Maybe I just have a thing against Xavier, so I don't like anything about him. I just, I'm not feeling Xavier. I'm not feeling Iceman either. No. I feel like it's too much. Wait, can can we just talk about something? Cause I, di- I did just read- like one through six of all the Dawn of X's, right? The first six titles. In one of them, in one of the Marauders books, Iceman's like, oh, I can't because I have to guest judge on Drag Race. So if you're guest judging on Drag Race, what are you doing? What what business do you have wearing what you're wearing to the gala? I like agree. RuPaul would be highly upset with you. It's just ugly and... I was speaking about it with Cena Grace and he was like, it just Bobby wouldn't wear that because he's more, a little bit more clean cut 
you know, where you have other mutants who are very embracing of fashion. And don't get me wrong, I love that he's doing something like that, but it's not executed it's too properly. Much. It just looks awful. It's too much. You know? It doesn't like it's too solid. Yeah. Like it's big and it's solid and it does like how does he move through a crowd? You know, like I just picture him like when I'm wearing like armor at a convention and you have to be like, oh, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, <laughs> turn sideways to get through anyone. Like, how does he how does he function? So is Iceman your worst dress? Yeah, that's the one I don't like the most. Yeah. I was not, I was not into that. I like Pyro. I like that he's kind of got the little like. I don't know what, like a little necklace with some fringe in the front and like mm-hmm. an open shirt, yes. like some chest underneath, little eye candy. Like Speaking of eye candy, Colossus. <gasps> Zaddy, where did that come from? Mm-hmm. Why is he Zaddy all of a sudden? I think he was always Zaddy, like, and then this was his time to shine. Oh my God. Because he's I just feared before, and no one was. Everyone was like, "You don't grow." Yeah, I think it has to be done right. Yeah, you know, that's a really like nice beard. Oh my god, with the fur, I love. Yeah. Oh my god, he looks so hot. I just was like sitting on the couch, like Justin came home from the comic shop with the book of all the things, and I'm sitting on the couch, and I just like got to that page, and I was like, "Ooh, uh, Ooh. what? <laughs> Excuse me, What's happening here? <laughs> Who is this man?" Looks where did this come from incredible oh. it's like it's an incredible looking like outfit and i'm just like wow i've never thought colossus is cute like of course like I, i've seen him i'm like oh that's supposed to be eye candy doesn't do it for me not for me good for someone else who does and when i saw him and i was like yes. yeah yeah it's just <laughs> I, I don't i haven't heard anybody say oh colossus doesn't look good to me yeah um, I was disappointed that one, we haven't seen Christian Frost like yeah, work. Yeah, what's Christian Fr- like? Like Emma would not not invite him. Mm-hmm. A. B, Fabian Cortez not being invited. <laughs> like I'm heartbroken. I'm furious about that. <laughs> like, how could you not have Fabian Cortez? Sorry. Maybe he's busy in space. Maybe. Or like at the Lagoon Bar. Oh um, he's drinking. You know what other outfit was horrific and like she needs justice. Dazzler. <gasps> yes. Oh, poor Dazzler. She what? is a mutant diva. Give her something. I mean, she can have some sparkle, but that can't be like her entire outfit. No. No. Yeah, it just looks like conf- I was confused. I was like, but where's the outfit? It's just a blur. She's just a blur. Yeah, it's just like a dark, like disco suit with some sparkles. Which is fine because I assume in real life it's like her power. But this is on paper. We're not going to see in real life. And she is a mutant diva. She's going to have a presence. She needs her sparkly moment. She needs her sparkly moment. She needs that bling bling. Mm-hmm. Who's our favorite dress? Like who's the best dressed? Mm. That's hard. I. <laughs> I mean, I, I, my gut tells me to go with Emma because she has three looks. I love Emma. You know, and there's not. I mean, the fur one is my least favorite of the three. No, that's my favorite one. No, I just like I want to see more of Emma's like fabulous body. I mean, she has a fabulous body, but what I love about like the headpiece, the headpiece is very Sarah Jessica Parker at the Met Gala. Mm. Fur is very like Tom Brown. You know, she's having her Thomas Brown moment. You can still kind of see her chest. Yeah, she has her yeah. boob window right not, there. Yeah, she she has has her window. Like, which looks great as an ex, you know, right there. Yeah. Which, yeah. Her she new gave you a little something, something right there. But she's I agree. Like, it's job. not all hidden. It's when you see her in like a look like this, that is like a red carpet, like showstopper. Like she just had her JLo moment mm-hmm. for like the Met Gala. But she goes through like the phases, you know, like she has the like the fur one to me is the like moments of the Met Gala looks. They're like, OK, this can only be worn at the Met Gala. Like this is oh. specifically because we're trying to go like very avant garde here. And yeah. then she progresses to she throughout the night, that, you know, like, layers. Yeah. I call that the Victoria Beckham look. Oh, yes. Because she looks very Beckham in that one. She's very Beckham in that. Yes. Yeah, I think the best look for me is Storm, hands down. Like, 
because it just makes sense for first of all storm is organically a very regal looking character yes your Always. eyes don't gravitate towards but like how they did her hair with the clouds and like the cape and the thunder perfect yeah i kind of like captain britain's look like i didn't like it at first okay but I saw some other like artists interpretations of it and it really like grew on me and I kind of want to cosplay it, but I've already committed to this. <laughs> Girl, do more than one. Just do it. <laughs> Wait, are we ever going to see this duo dress like this IRL? Do we think we'll ever get it? Oh man, I would love to. Like, Let's do I gotta it. I got to come out to the East Coast or New York Comic Con. Oh, if you guys have a hookup, like, let me know. Oh my, oh my God. God. Well, the hookup is my sofa. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> 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 I dream about New York Comic Con. Like we could just go for like every day. We could have multiple looks a day. Oh, I just like that would be so fun. I would love to like collab with somebody other than my husband, Justin. Stop like, it, Justin. Oh my god. Listeners, I met Justin IRL. He's everything <laughs> you would imagine him to be. And he's an aerospace engineer. <laughs> he's so smart. I'm That's like, amazing. Oh, what are you doing? Again? He's like, I'm an aerospace engineer. I'm like, oh, okay. Thank you for the beer. I'm just going to sit here. <laughs> I'm just like really dumb. I'm like, right he's now. really nice though. Sometimes so he looks nice. mean, but he's really nice. I no, promise. So I got out of the Uber. I saw him first before I saw Michelle and he was walking the dogs, oh, the yeah, girls. And he was like, hey man, what's going on? And I was like, hi. <laughs> hey. I just got out of an Uber where I was recruited for Nicole, but like, I'm here now. No, it's totally fine. I'm not going to join. <laughs> i mean whatever i'm in california i'm like for I a mean, few more you days could be like a member, like a temporary member <laughs> i mean give it a try like why not what's the harm in that what kind of cult was it <laughs> i don't i don't know he was talking about like a youtube video and like energy and like pinocchio and like how pinocchio wasn't a real boy anymore and now he is i was like yeah i dig that philosophy sure oh. whatever okay i'm sorry no i mean that's a lot to that <laughs> It was a lot for an Uber ride. That escalated quickly. I'm like, I'm nervous yes. to meet Michelle and like, I'm being like recruited You're for like, Nicole. So I just had an experience. I know. Um, I'm like, I'm just trying to post on my Instagram here and like, you're trying to recruit me. Yeah. Like, and then I was like, oh, I'm an atheist. And he like almost like slammed on his brakes. I'm like, but I'm an open hearted atheist. <laughs> <laughs> tell me, tell me everything right now. You're like, but I want to hear it because I'd like my life. Uh -huh. Well, I like literally was just like, where am I right now? But I'm here right now with you guys. And that's all I need. So but, exciting. So thinking of like cults and stuff like that, like Krakoa has been feeling like an occult right now. And they're inviting other people onto the island. What do we think is going to happen? Like, we know Magneto's murdering someone. Someone's gonna die. Someone's gonna die. <laughs> Honestly, like, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. <laughs> maybe they're not gonna get resurrected because maybe it's not a mutant. Maybe yeah. It's a human yeah. Oh, I'm, it's gonna be an Avenger. I'm calling it right now. It has to be an Avenger. Ooh. What do you guys An think? Avenger. I, don't know. I think it's someone in the Fantastic Four. They got yeah. beef. Yeah, fuck the Fantastic Four. <laughs> Coming to the gala to Emma. They're coming to Emma's front lawn dressed like that in their uniforms that they just did some black accents well, on. Sue better not have her window because no oh one can compete God. with Emma. I would have gagged if she would have shown up as malice. Can you imagine like the big fuck you to Emma? Like I would have loved to have seen that. No, no, don't say fuck you to Emma at her own party. No, she'll I'm kick sorry. you out. When I did like the poll on the Power of X-Men Instagram, I asked like, who do you think is going to die? A lot of people gave Emma. I'm like, why would Emma die? They're just going to resurrect her. Yeah. Like Emma will be resurrected. Like that character is a stained death. They're not going to kill Emma. No, I, I find it so hard. To, I'm sorry for cutting you off. Oh, no, I find it hard to believe that they'll kill a mutant and make up some excuse as to why they're not being able to resurrect. Yeah. Her. Like, I would that be seems... really shocked by that. That's why it's going to be a human. Yeah, I agree. Or you know an enhanced human super soldier or well they can't kill captain america again oh i can't stomach another captain america like death of captain america i don't know peggy what do you think peggy <laughs> don't kill captain america okay just don't do it oh don't maybe do it. who else got invited that might die 
Eminem. It's going to be Eminem. Oh, oh it could be a yeah. celebrity. That's right. I forgot about that push. <laughs> like, there's going to be real life celebrities like here. Great. Tim's Wonder- coming. He's going to be there. He's going to perform. It's going to be awesome. He's going to die. And then he's going to die. Magneto's going to be like. And he's going to die. But do we think Magneto's actually going to kill someone or is he going to be framed or will he, he'll obviously have some kind of reasoning for it? I think he's framed. Yeah, I, can't, I just, I don't think he did it. I mean, he's he's a bad dude sometimes, but I don't think he's going to kill somebody at the gala. Have I you- think it's just all going to be Sebastian Shaw's fault. Oh, Sebastian Shaw. He's so shady. Oh my God, so shady. Wait, have you guys read <laughs> the last issue of Marauders? Yeah, I don't want to spoil anything. I literally just read issue. Well, now I'm on, I read seven and eight, I think. Oh, you're not, but I, I keep forgetting you're not, because Justin- currently caught up but justin, yeah, justin reads real time you're catching up michelle do you read real time or do you wait for trades i watch youtube videos oh. to catch me up because i'm so behind this is like my reading my reading piles like i'm pretty sure i have another one in the closet okay but listeners i'm actually in <laughs> michelle's like geek room and this is like the size of my bedroom a and b like this is paradise right here it's like, so well organized. Look at that. Look at that. Look, look, I look. love it. I Ooh, love it. A, a good... Look at that. <sighs> look at this. I just ran out of room. <laughs> well, you have like so, 8 million rooms in here. Just take another one. <laughs> just take another one. It's so funny because like you, all your legends are in boxes and all of our legends are out of boxes. Every, like there's this whole shelf behind me that I've covered up with cosplay things is full of them. And then like that bin is full of them and there's shelves and shelves of them over there. I just can't open them. I just. I said the same thing, Alicia, when I walked in. I was like the like the like the overbearing mom. I'm like, but you keep all of your legends in boxes, and was just like, yes, I do. I'm like mine hey. are out, like mangled. But I buy, I but I buy two of each if I like oh, them. That's yeah. what I do too. And I keep yeah. them. Nate Gray. I have like 800 Nate Grays in a box. I have another Dazzler. I just haven't opened her yet. Like I get anxiety, like yeah. thinking oh. about opening. Her. Like, well, so recently Justin's been letting me open some. Like we've been doing some unboxing stuff, and I'm always so afraid that I'm going to break them as I'm opening them. Yeah. But you're not. Like you're not. You're not going to break them. But they're made for children to open. I watched a four-year-old open a Wolverine figure yesterday, and he did fine. But the I retro am like, hard. the retro cards are hard. Like, like right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, I do. Right here. Look at that! It's Dazzler. It's Dazzler. Outback Dazzler, or I call this mini Demanda Martini. Yeah. Because <laughs> right it looks so much like so Demanda. amazing. It is her. It's Demanda Martini's doll right there. But see how it's like the. They see, they stick the plastic inside. The yeah, between two pieces of cardboard, and so I just can't. Like I don't know. I don't know. Then if you want to keep the back, like how do you even do that? Yeah, I don't. You, know. you don't. You keep it in the box. My eye just gravitated to an unboxed Sailor Moon. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Like right there, like a Sailor Moon okay, box. Okay, I did open that one because it was an ugly doll, and I have a cute doll that I want to. I'm transferring the outfits. I love Sailor Moon so much. Yeah. But anyways, <laughs> I have a Sailor Moon costume. Stop it. Like Ooh. Sailor Moon proper or another yep. CG. You would be a phenomenal Sailor Moon. I'll be your I tuxedo was... mask. <gasps> you would be an awesome tuxedo mask too. I would too. be your tuxedo mask, Alicia. Oh my God. I'll do it. I'll be your Chibiusa. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. Ah. Um, I need like events. Let's make the events happen. On New York Comic Con, let's all be. We need to Kiki IRL at New York Comic Con. Yes. Oh my god! All right, so bring so many costumes. Just bring them, bring them, girl. We'll like we'll just throw them all over my yeah, apartment. We'll I'll have a green some. room. You bring like everyone. Just bring some, and we'll make it work. I'm not a cosplayer, but for New York Comic Con, I am going to do Doug Ramsey. So <gasps> I've been Amazing. talking to people like for that and all that. I have to keep. We should be special. some new mutants. Oh I want to do Magma. Oh, who do I want to be? Hmm. How could you be? I feel like you could be anyone. Oh, Justin could be Sunspot. Yeah. Um, my Justin. My Justin could be Sam. <gasps> yes. <gasps> you could be, I'm trying to think who you could, you could be, depends on who you want to do. Yeah, it, you have to have like, um, 
you have to have like a connection with the character or like their outfit or like their vibe. Like that's why I did Magma because I was like, well, I don't think I'm really any of the other new mutants. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I just be Doug. Magic. Duh. Oh. <gasps> Ooh. A duh. I'm like, who is a new mutant? Uh, we have the swag for magic. <laughs> All right, so murder at the Hellfire Gala. X-Men are going to be announced. And there's supposed to be another secret that they're going to reveal. I believe they said something like that. So I don't, I'm looking forward. It starts this week. It's so exciting. The thing is too, like since I'm so behind in reading, I'm catching things. Like I know they were planning it or thinking about it for a really long time, but I'm catching things in the comics that are just like little nods to it happening that it's like, did you even know that was there? Like, there's one issue of Marauders that starts out like the data page is just talking about Emma and Jumbo shopping for fabric. Yeah. And they're just like, they're just shopping for white and red fabric. And then when like Jumbo's in Emma's apartment and uh, who is it that walks in? Don't remember, but was she's it, Emma's. Like, was it Magneto? Wait, was that in Giant Size X-Men? Oh, no, 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 it's a it's a lady and she she's the knight. She becomes the white knight. Was it Callisto? Yeah. Yeah. So she walks in. Emma's like, Jumbo was just saying I should throw a Hellfire Gala, but I don't know what that is yet, but it, we're going to do it. And I'm just like, oh, little boop, 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 right there. Well, even in Sword, and I don't want to spoil it, but issue like the last issue where Fabian Cortez is like naked in front of the council. Magneto said something about murdering and uh, how he would never do it. And I'm paraphrasing what he's saying. I was like, oh, they call that Claremonting now, apparently. Oh, which is basically throw as many Easter eggs as you can in like a scene. And I'm forgetting, I think it was Cy Spurrier I was talking to where he said like the idea, the philosophy is now like you have a character running through a hall. Well, put a lot of doors there with little Easter eggs and let like mm. another writer down the line, whether it's this group or 10 years from now, and they can just like pull from that. They can mine that information. It's kind of nice. Yeah. Nice. Go I like that. Yeah. That makes all my crazy like connection theories now valid because you put them there for me to. I love your connection. Weird about. Yes. yes. Oh man. I haven't seen your board. I've heard about it. <laughs> I've heard about it. Do you have a board? Darling. Oh, Hold no. on. I, I oh, 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 she just darlinged you, Emma. Ugh. Look at that. Here oh, it is. So viral with that. In all of its glory. I it still doesn't make sense. But it will one day. <laughs> this is like. It's in, very in, intense, okay? This is an X-Men dragnet right here. Like, look at that. I love that. I also, hold on. <laughs> more. I love that she has more. I'm like hitting like the camera. I'm like, oh, I want to see more. I also decided or thought I might need to start like a Dawn of X timeline because there's a couple things that don't add up. Mm -hmm. And I want to know like where they fall in relation to each other. And I've been told like that might not be like a good idea because it might never make sense. <sighs> it's true. I mean, listen, I love the X-Men. I've been a fan for like you know, 30 years. All my life. I wouldn't guess because I have really great Botox. But um, there are some things that are just like a dead end on the thread, right? Yeah. Like don't pull too hard on that thread. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes. Well, they're trying to- I hate through. that make up for it i think with the legends oh series. yeah like they're imagine. like okay so we dropped the ball here sorry so let about us that go back and finish the story no oh. and i don't even know if it's, it's like alternate timeline i don't know i still don't know if hey, they're supposed to be in canon i think they're supposed to be in canon i still don't know if there's a four summers brother for sure well like i love extreme and i don't want to spoil it for anyone right now so it's okay We'll talk you can, it. I've, I have, if, if something is going to be spoiled for me at this point, like I've accepted that, that that's going to happen because I can't, spoilers too. I can't immerse myself in like X world and be around all of these people and have these conversations and then be like mad at someone for spoiling something like that doesn't have to let it go. You know, you let it go. That's I appreciate right. your concern and your 
caution surrounding it, but I'm going to find out eventually. And sometimes I find out so much stuff that it just falls out, you know? (laughs) So Extreme is supposed to be the fourth Summer's brother, but his memories, like the memories were all locked and like presumably in the future they will be unlocked. But there you go. But everyone found out. Like, oh, except for Vulcan, because he wasn't around. At the yeah, time. I was going to say, what about Vulcan? What about Vulcan? Yeah, what about him? Give us Vulcan. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Yeah. Maybe he's going to get murdered at the Hellfire. <gasps> or, and like the real one is going to come back. I don't know. That's just fans theory. Ooh, I don't say. The I, real I, one is gnarly, though. Isn't he like super like, crazy? He's supposed to be crazy. So like the working theory right now is the Vulcan on Krakoa is actually a duplicate. And the real one is still alive after the War of Kings, like yeah. Saga. I actually think it's Jean who's a duplicate. Yeah, I think she's wearing that Marvel Girl outfit, and I don't think our girl would I don't, never. I'm not after X Men Red. She wouldn't be wearing that never. Marvel Girls. But I don't think she died in Hawk's box. I feel like because we didn't see her die like the other characters. I, I feel like right. I think the Phoenix saved her because they were in space. She's gonna come back as the Phoenix. As my Phoenix. Oh my right god! Right there. Yes. Oh snap! That's Put your that next on your board. Put that's that on your, your next board. Hellfire surprise. <laughs> Hellfire surprise. White Phoenix she shows just up. Comes back in her white and gold. There she is. Her gala esque outfit. I actually have a question for you. Yeah, it's me. Okay, yeah. Oh, Jesus. Smack the microphone. Yes, you. Okay, so when we were talking, so we gave you our little sneak peek yeah. so you knew it was up. And you said you thought we were going to do Jean and Emma. So did you think that Michelle was going to do Jean and I was going to do Emma? Absolutely. Especially after your birthday photo shoot. I mm-hmm. thought that would be Jean and Emma. I did not anticipate the Hellfire Gala. And when you, we were on our group chat, I was like, okay, like I really, I'm like, I'm like, I want to get the exclusive here. <laughs> like, like I want to interview you guys with this collaboration. And you literally started sending your photos, Alicia. And I literally looked at my husband. And I was like, holy fucking shit <laughs> he looks identical to kate like she Thank looks you. like she came out of like the the comic page you could be kate in real life oh, okay stop stop and then stop. michelle was like and here's mine and she took a photo of just a dress <laughs> and i was like screaming screaming because a i i thought gene b i was like oh she can totally pull that off. I thought yes. you can make it though. It took me a while to see like I the, know, I know. Like the, the I sparkles. mean, maybe one of these times if I have enough alcohol, I'll just be naked. <laughs> and of course, because I'm such a gay boy, I'm like, yes, Michelle, be naked. Yes. Like listen, with- I I can take my living statue training and just paint your whole body metallic. And it would be amazing. I know how to do it in a way that's not gonna take forever and it's not gonna get powder everywhere. So if and when this ever happens in real life. New York Comic Con. New York Comic Con. Well, we we'll, get, we'll figure out how we get you some minimal coverage. Okay. And then we'll paint you. I mean, look, this is totally practical for a Comic Con. Like, do not show up otherwise at a Comic Con unless you're body painted. <laughs> My God. Um, Alicia, where can folks at home find you? Oh, yeah. Well, you can find me as part of the Ex-Wife Podcast on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at the Ex-Wife Podcast, which is X-W-I-F-E as in X-Men, not former wife. And you can find us at the exwifepodcast.com. But you can also find me personally on Instagram and Facebook at Wilder Moves. That's Wilder M-O-V-E-S, like dance moves. And Michelle, where can folks at home connect with you? Well, I'm only on Instagram. I don't have TikTok or Twitter or anything, but I like just having one platform. It's it's nice. It's um, Michelle Waffle O, or you can just search Michelle Waffle. I am literally the only Michelle Waffle out there. It's like waffles, like your favorite yeah. breakfast food, yeah. which is, is my favorite breakfast food. I love a waffle. I yeah. love French toast. It's cannibalism. <laughs> well thank you ladies so much for coming um being on the podcast i mean i crushed your house michelle it's okay and alicia has been ready for hours i'm like i'm sorry i'm stuck in my uber i'm getting recruited here (laughs) it's fine it's fine and alicia's like girls look amazing you're the one who's missing out right now but they still look amazing they look fabulous gotta get you know gotta curl your hair when it's nice and dirty right when you need to take a shower 
<laughs> and they look fantastic. You look fantastic. So do right, you. Guys, I am the Uncanny Day Spring signing off.